All right guys, Paul back here again for another video. In this one, we're gonna be taking an in-depth, detailed look at a 2004 US Spinner adult size replica belt. Uh, so this is a standard adult size metal plates US Spinner replica. Like I said, made in 2004. The difference being this has been the simulated leather strap on this belt has been replaced with a hand-tooled real leather strap done by myself. It features the hand-stitched red, white, and blue border around the five main plates. And the final upgrade on this belt is the plastic stones on all of these plates have been replaced with real Swarovski crystals. So, uh, real leather strap, real crystals, nicely upgraded belt. So, let's take a look. Okay, as mentioned, this is the adult size version of the belt. As you can see, the plate spins pretty well. For those that don't know, these belts came as standard with a magnet in place. So, underneath this part of the U in the US, uh, the base plate and the spinning piece had magnets that lined up, which kept the spinner piece sitting upright. Ah, you'll see it there actually. See, magnet keeps it upright. On this one, I've removed the magnet, so as you can see, it spins freely just like the belt on TV. So that, that's a good addition to this belt to, to modify it a bit, because the magnet, it doesn't spin. It doesn't spin very well, so removing that magnet lets it spin a lot, free, more, a lot more freely and a lot more smoothly. Right, so we'll start off talking about the leather strap. So this has been finished in a JMR style strap, just like the belt used on TV. So I followed the JMR style snap box tooling there along with a two by eight male snap box here. You can see the detail of the tooling as well as my signature on the end of the strap there, just to certify it's a strap done by myself. Um, as we move along the strap, you'll see the kind of center part of the belt is kind of circled off around the, the secondary side plate. So it kind of creates a nice kind of enclosed area where all the stitching circles around them. So as mentioned, this is all hand stitched around the border. It goes under the center plate, top and bottom, and then continues around the other side of the belt. Uh, like I said, circling the five main plates. So as mentioned, these are real Swarovski crystals in here. I'm not sure how well the lighting is actually gonna show them up in this, in this video, to be quite honest with you, but the difference they make is amazing. Uh, the plastic stones, especially because this is a 2004 belt, especially after 10, 15 years, the plastic stones, they, they might get scratched, they start to dull up. Uh, a lot of the time, a lot of them fall out. So replacing them with either cubic zirconia or in this case, Swarovski crystals is a massive upgrade and it just changes the entire look of the belt. So of course it does have the star pattern tooling underneath the five main plates. Uh, the border of the strap is also beveled around the edge there. So a little bit of leather tooling on this. This is the leather strap on this belt is mostly focused around the, the colorful stitching. That's kind of its main um, kind of eye catching point rather than any fancy tooling. Although I do love the star tooling. I think it's such a really kind of appropriate style of tooling, especially just the fact that it's kind of scattered all around the the bulk of the strap there. So as mentioned, the magnet has been removed here, so it does spin pre pretty freely. Uh, these spinner belts, WWE, Rated R and US, they always get that noise, which is a little bit annoying uh, when they spin, but it is what it is. As mentioned, this does have real Swarovski crystals. All the stones on this have been replaced with Swarovskis. Um, as mentioned, this is a 2004 belt, so you'll see there is some damage to this. Unfortunately, getting one of these in perfect condition is near enough impossible. Getting one in any good condition is equally difficult. So there is some marks on pretty much all of these that you'll find uh, nowadays, especially. The US Spinner was, of course, one of the first belts that did have the thick casted plates. So... You'll see there, I think the plates are about eight mil thick to the tallest point. They do curve up, so it's not as obvious. Really nice plates though, the US Spinner, absolutely a fantastic replica. It was one of those first ones that really kind of, the, the quality really exploded. Like I said, the casted belts, the two spinner belts were really some of the ones that, that started selling really well, especially the WWE Spinner, which kind of pushed them to make better replicas. Of course, as we continue past the five main plates, that kind of border tooling, I do love that. I, I mentioned that a moment ago, but I love that kind of border tooling, how it encloses the five main plates. And then of course, we've got the logo plate here. Nothing fancy on this one, no stones. 
nothing like that, just a World Wrestling Entertainment plate with the logo in the middle, so... Really nice addition to it. I, I, I like logo plates, I've mentioned this in many videos before. When you've got the different leather uh, fastening snap ratios, the having the shorter snap ratio, having an extra plate is a really nice touch in my opinion. Um, and of course this does feature the JMR 2x5, JMR style snap box there, silver snaps of course. Nicely finished leather strap there of course. Okay, and now we're just going to flip the belt over just to take a look at the rear of the belt so we can see the back of the strap here. As you can see, you can pretty much make out the, the stitching lines around the five main plates. If you look at that, you can see the indentation in the backing of the stitching lines. It looks really nice. It's a nice look to the back of this belt. Uh, you can see the back of the snaps all there as well. And the spinner piece you can probably faintly make out there. So of course all the stones are covered, uh, sorry, all the screws are covered with this nice black leather backing. Leather strap's pretty decent to be honest, actually that's that's one thing I should show. As mentioned, it is a real leather strap, so hey, even with the stitching, that's not too bad to begin with. Uh, stitching and lacing do stiffen up the straps a bit, as you could probably imagine. Uh, once you put stitching, there's only so far that the thread will stretch. So it's not as flexible as real leather, but I'll be honest, I'm for a brand new leather strap, this was literally finished yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm more than happy with that. It can obviously be broken in a lot further, um, but for a brand new strap, that's really quite awesome to be honest with you. I'm quite happy with that. And of course the spinning piece does have a bit of noise, which pretty much all of them do, but Spins pretty freely, I'm happy with that. It's a good belt. I gotta be honest, I, I love the US spinner belt. I think it's a great replica belt. I think it's a cool belt. Um, yeah, people don't like it because it looks stupid and it spins, but unlike the WWE spinner belt, this one served its purpose as purely a gimmick belt. So I think more people can appreciate this one for what it is. Um, yeah, I, I hope they remake this eventually, to be honest with you, it's a really cool replica. But that's pretty much all I had to say about this. I, I hope this video was useful or informative. That being said, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Cheers. Right before we end the video, I just wanted to give a special shout out to all my gold tier Patreon members, including Stephen Buchanan and Scott Thomas. Guys, thank you very much for your support. Thank you everyone that joins the Patreon. If you are interested, uh, check out the link in the description box below. Over on the Patreon, I post some kind of in-progress strap tooling videos, some more videos showing how the belts are constructed and made, as well as a lot more in-depth stuff that's coming very soon. Uh, so if you are interested, please feel free to check it out. Yo, monkeys, it's me, DDP. And if you want to get one of the greatest belts made for you, Go to Paul Martin Belts. That's right, sucker.